Do you feel angry, desperate, helpless, and hopeless about your relationship with your twin flame? These emotions can be confusing. But they are a natural part of experiencing the twin flame night of the soul. Don't be afraid though, as this phase is inevitable in the twin flame journey, although it can be difficult to endure. I too once experienced these negative feelings and believed I could never overcome such deep unhappiness, however, I am now happy with my twin flame and want to share my experience of the night of the soul and the strategies I use to return to a more normal phase in our relationship. In this article, I will discuss the symptoms I faced and the techniques that helped me overcome this challenging period. How does the night of the soul manifest itself? It's crucial to recognize this condition when it comes to the twin flame journey, even though it can be challenging to do so at first. Initially, I thought my symptoms were related to depression, but I later realized they were solely due to my twin flame relationship. The night of the soul can bring about its unique set of symptoms, making it hard to recognize. For instance, my limited communication with my twin flame during our long-distance relationship left me feeling depressed, anxious, and frustrated, akin to when I was dealing with some health issues. It took me some time to understand that these symptoms were not a sign of mental illness, but instead spiritual my twin flame night of the soul symptoms. The night of the soul is a twin flame emotional journey that triggers profound feelings of despair, hopelessness, and helplessness, preventing us from experiencing the joy of being reunited with our twin flame. We typically feel empty, lonely, and desperate, unable to identify the source of the problem. When I went through it, I sensed that something was amiss, but I couldn't pinpoint it, leading to confusion. This period is usually sparked by a series of life events, big and small, that make us feel powerless, hopeless, and isolated. It ends when we conquer these emotions and discover the strength and resilience within ourselves to push ahead. Therefore, once you realize that you're in the midst of the night of the soul, you can begin to contemplate ways to overcome it. Let's explore this period further. Here are six indications of the twin flame night of the soul. You feel helpless and hopeless in your relationship with your twin flame. To begin with, it is essential to understand that the night of the soul is not caused by your twin flame, but rather by your own emotions. Therefore, it is critical to recognize that you are experiencing this feeling, not because something is wrong with your relationship, but rather because you are going through a time of introspection. During this phase, you may feel powerless, hopeless, and incapacitated. You may believe that things will never change for the better, and that your twin flame relationship will never be okay again. What makes this experience even more bizarre is that there seems to be no explanation for your overwhelming sadness, which can be alarming. Even though you may be aware of some techniques to alleviate your feelings, it is as though you cannot control your emotions. Another strange aspect is that the night of the soul often occurs following a period of happiness and contentment, particularly when you are reunited with your twin flame. If you have encountered any of these symptoms, there is a possibility that you are currently experiencing the night of the soul. The signs of experiencing the night of the soul while in a twin flame relationship are quite common. One of them is feeling like no one can assist you in getting out of this phase. When you're in this phase, you're desperate but hesitant to ask for help because you think no one can help you anyway. This feeling arises because you feel that everything is out of your control, and you feel hopeless and helpless. This can be dangerous because if you don't seek help, you'll fail in your twin flame journey. It's crucial to understand that the only person who can help you during this period is yourself. Even if your partner tries to help, it won't work if you don't take a step forward yourself. However, if you're feeling like no one can help you, there are ways to overcome such negative feelings. On the other hand, 
If you feel like everything is negative in your relationship with your twin flame, it could be a sign that you're experiencing the night of the soul. Negative emotions and thoughts are part of this phase, but feeling like there's nothing positive about your twin flame relationship is not good. This feeling could occur because your twin flame journey has taken a completely different direction than what you had expected. It's important to talk about the issues with your partner and create a plan to solve them. It may take some time, but it's crucial to keep trying until you find a solution. Feeling inadequate in your twin flame relationship is a common experience during the night of the soul. You may start blaming yourself and believe that something is wrong with the relationship, causing you to isolate yourself from others. However, this is a misconception. In reality, twin flames accept each other as they are, flaws and all, and there is no such thing as not being good enough in a twin flame relationship. It is normal to feel the need to isolate during this transformative period, but remember that you will eventually figure things out, and that there is nothing wrong with you. Do you find yourself wanting to withdraw from social relationships? This desire to isolate oneself is a common symptom of the night of the soul in a twin flame relationship. It occurs because the relationship no longer satisfies you and you may feel like there's no point in being around other people. However, studies show that social isolation can be detrimental to your well-being. While it's normal to feel detached and like others won't understand what you're going through, know that you will eventually figure things out, and there's nothing wrong with you. During the night of the soul, one of the signs that you may experience is a sense of worthlessness. This feeling can make you think that there is no point in living, and that everyone would be better off without you. In extreme cases, you may even contemplate ending your life. However, it is important to remember that feelings of worthlessness are commonly associated with depression, and these feelings can pass. Recognizing that you are in the midst of a transformation can help you understand that these feelings are temporary and will eventually subside. If you're experiencing the twin flame night of the soul, you're probably eager to know how to overcome it and move on. In this section, I'll share with you the six strategies that helped me get through this difficult phase in my twin flame relationship. The first and most important strategy is to recognize that the twin flame night of the soul is a natural part of your journey. As you embark on a spiritual journey with your twin flame, it's normal to experience challenging periods that test your limits. So, instead of feeling guilty or ashamed of your feelings, embrace them and understand that they will pass in due time. While it's natural to feel desperate, sad, or angry during this phase, it's important not to let these emotions take over your life. Keep in mind that the night of the soul is an inevitable part of the twin flame journey and many twin flames have gone through it before. Having faith that this phase is temporary and will eventually pass is key to overcoming it and moving forward. Prioritize your own needs and well-being. When you're struggling with the twin flame night of the soul, it's important to focus on your individual needs and prioritize your well-being. Consider what you need to feel fulfilled and content, whether that's advancing in your career, spending quality time with loved ones, taking a vacation, or simply taking some time to rest and recharge. By focusing on your own needs, you'll be better equipped to handle the challenges of your twin flame journey. Remember, neglecting your well-being can negatively impact your relationship with your twin flame. Therefore, make sure to take care of your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health first and foremost keep your journey's purpose in mind. One of the most effective strategies to overcome the twin flame night of the soul is to remind yourself of the purpose of your journey. Take some time to reflect on why you and your twin flame are on this journey together. Perhaps it's to learn to love unconditionally or to grow spiritually. By keeping the purpose of your journey in mind, 
You'll be better able to move forward through the difficult times. If you feel discouraged during this phase, remember that it's only temporary and that you will come out the other side stronger. Consider keeping a reminder of your twin flame relationship's purpose close by to help you stay focused and motivated. Identify the source of negative feelings. To help me navigate the dark phase of my twin flame journey, I made an effort to understand the source of my negative emotions. I came to realize that I was focusing on the wrong things and allowing them to distract me from my relationship's progress. For example, instead of dwelling on how long we went without speaking or how busy my twin flame was, I focused on the positive aspects of our relationship. Once I acknowledged that these negative feelings were temporary distractions, I began to feel better, and our relationship moved forward again. A gifted advisor helped me to identify the triggers of my negative emotions, maintain a positive mindset. During the twin flame night of the soul, negative thoughts and emotions tend to dominate. It's crucial to stay positive and remember that you can overcome this challenging phase. By believing in yourself and maintaining a positive mindset, you can overcome this hurdle. One technique that worked for me was journaling my thoughts and feelings, which helped me transform negative emotions into positive energy. Meditation and spending time in nature are also helpful activities that can help you stay focused on positive thoughts and move forward. Remember that you're going through this for a reason, and there is a higher purpose behind this experience. When you feel discouraged or negative, Remind yourself of what you've learned so far, and how it has improved your relationship with your twin flame. The final strategy to help you navigate through the twin flame night of the soul, is to recognize that things will improve, even if it takes time. The twin flame journey is not meant to end in this difficult phase, as twin flames ultimately find their way back to each other. Although it may be challenging, it's important to stay patient maintain a positive mindset, and complete what you started. Remember that you're not alone, as many twin flames are going through the same experience. The night of the soul is an important step towards actualizing your twin flame relationship, as it allows you to face your fears and insecurities, learn to let go of negative emotions, and evolve to a higher state of being. While it may be tough, it can also be a transformative period. Stay positive and trust that your relationship with your twin flame is meant to last.